Welcome back to FFL Boss Tutorials. Today we're going to be covering the Employee Activity Monitor. This feature records important activities of your employees, shows you when anybody within your organization has ignored a warning, or has changed a value that would affect the bound book. This particular feature is only visible to the account owners and the managers. We can find the Employee Activity Monitor in the main left navigation down at the bottom, right above Bound Books, and it will be presented in this table format. As I mentioned before, only the account owners and manager level access will be able to view the Employee Activity Monitor. Monitor. There are multiple levels of access within FFL Boss. If we go up to the admin navigation, we can see users here. When we add a user, we can then select the permissions level that they will have. As you can see here, the account owner is the primary login. The managers will have almost the same access as the account owners. Then there are supervisors and employees who will not be able to see the employee activity monitor. The way that you create a user is by putting in their email address, creating a password, first name, last name, job title, the location where they will be accessing, and then their access level, as you can see here. Let's go back to the Employee Activity Monitor. If you look over here to the right, any of the changes that have been made within FFL Boss, you have the ability as an admin to go to that change and change it back or modify it to something different. On this particular activity, we can see that the Ignore button was pressed for actual transferee error message. If we go to this Pawn Inventory ticket, as soon as we click Edit, it will take us directly to that record and we can modify those changes or make different changes. Let's go to the acquisitions and make a change within the system. We can see here that the serial number of this particular item is 150. Let's say that there was a mistake made and it should have been 1505. We save that change, don't add a note. Now if we go to the employee activity monitor, we can see that that change was made today. This is the ID number of the change and the serial number was changed from 150 to 1505. Lastly, from the dashboard, if we scroll down to the very bottom, we can see the last five transactions here, and we can also see the last five changes in the Employee Activity Monitor. That wraps up the walkthrough for the Employee Activity Monitor. Once again, thank you for using FFL Boss, your FFL software provider.